सी आई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ साइंस फॉर क्लास सेवन एंटाइटल्ड साइंस दिस इज द लेसन ट्वेल्व रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स फ्रॉम पेज वन थर्टी थ्री टू पेज वन फोर्टी टू लेट्स लिसन टू द लेसन ट्वेल्व रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स पेज वन थर्टी थ्री टू प्रोड्यूस इट्स काइंड इज अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न दिस इन क्लास सिक्स द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ न्यू इंडिविजुअल्स फ्रॉम देर पेरेंट्स इज नोन एज रिप्रोडक्शन बट हाउ डू प्लांट्स रिप्रोड्यूस देर आर डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स विच वी शैल लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन मोड्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इन क्लास सिक्स यू लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ अ फ्लावरिंग प्लांट Try to list the various parts of a plant and write the functions of each. Most plants have roots, stems, and leaves. These are called the vegetative parts of a plant. After a certain period of growth, most plants bear flowers. You may have seen the mango trees flowering in spring. It is these flowers that give rise. to juicy mango fruit we enjoy in summer we eat the fruits and usually discard the seeds seeds germinate and form new plants so what is the function of flowers in plants flowers perform the function of reproduction in plants flowers are the reproductive parts there are several ways by which plants produce their offspring these are categorized into two types one asexual and two sexual reproduction in asexual reproduction plants can give rise to new plants without seeds whereas in sexual reproduction new plants are obtained from seeds there's a thought bubble given here a picture of paheli is next to it paheli thought that new plants always grow from seeds but she has never seen the seeds of sugarcane potato and rose she wants to know how these plants reproduce asexual reproduction in asexual reproduction new plants are obtained without production of seeds vegetative propagation it is a type of asexual reproduction in which new plants are produced from roots stems leaves and buds since reproduction is through the vegetative parts of the plant it is known as vegetative propagation activity 12.1 cut a branch of rose or champa with a node This piece of branch is termed a cutting. Bury the cutting in the soil. A node is a part of the stem or branch at which a leaf arises. You can observe this in Figure twelve point one. Water the cutting every day and observe its growth. Observe and record the number of days taken for roots to come out and new leaves to arise. page 134 try the same activity by growing money plant in a jar of water and record your observations figure 12.1 stem cutting of rose here we can observe a stem on the stem there is node on close observation we can also observe bud in the axil You must have seen flower buds developing into flowers. Apart from flower buds, there are buds in the axil of leaves which develop into shoots. 
An axil is the point of attachment of the leaf at the node. These buds are called vegetative buds. You can observe them in figure 12.2. A bud consists of a short stem around which immature overlapping leaves are present. Vegetative buds can also give rise to new plants. Activity 12.2 Take a fresh potato. Observe the scars on it with the help of a magnifying glass. You may find bud or buds in them. These scars are called eyes. Cut the potato into small portions, each with an eye, and bury them in the soil. Water the pieces regularly for a few days and observe their progress. What do you find? Figure 12.2 Potato plant sprouting from an eye Here we can observe multiple potatoes. Potato plant sprouting from eye can also be observed. Likewise, you can also grow ginger or turmeric. You can observe this in figure 12.3. Bryophyllum or sprout leaf plant has buds in the margins of leaves. You can observe this in figure 12.4. If a leaf of this plant falls on a moist soil, each bud can give rise to a new plant. Figure 12.3 Ginger with new plants sprouting from it. Roots of some plants can also give rise to new plants. Sweet potato and dahlia are examples. Plants such as cacti produce new plants when their parts get detached from the main plant body. Each Detached part can grow into a new plant. Figure 12.4 Leaf of Bryophyllum with buds in the margin. Here we can observe a leaf. New plants can be observed growing on it. Page 135 There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Bojo is next to it. Bojo wants to know if there is any advantage of vegetative propagation. Plants produced by vegetative propagation take less time to grow and bear flowers and fruits earlier than those produced from seeds. The new plants are exact copies of the parent plant as they are produced from a single parent. Later, in this chapter, you will learn that plants produced by sexual reproduction have characters of both the parents. Plants produce seeds as a result of sexual reproduction. Budding You have already learned about the tiny organisms like yeast can be seen only under a microscope. These grow and multiply every few hours if sufficient nutrients are made available to them. Remember that yeast is a single-celled organism. Let us learn how they reproduce. Activity 12.3 To be demonstrated by the teacher Take a piece of yeast cake or yeast powder from a bakery or a chemist shop. Take a pinch of yeast and place it in a container with some water. Add a spoonful of sugar and shake to dissolve it. Keep it in the warm part of a room. After an hour, put a drop of this liquid on a glass slide and observe under a microscope. What do you observe? You may observe formation of new yeast cells. Figure 12.5 Reproduction in Yeast by Budding Here we can observe a yeast cell. 
then it starts changing its form and we can observe a developing bud this developing bud in the next step becomes a new bud then in the final step we can observe a chain of buds which have evolved from the original yeast cell the small bulb like projection coming out from the yeast cell is called a bud the bud gradually grows and gets detached from the parent cell and forms a new yeast cell the new yeast cell grows matures and produces more yeast cells sometimes another bud arises from the bud forming a chain of buds if this process continues a large number of yeast cells are produced in a short time fragmentation you might have seen slimy green patches in ponds or in other stagnant water bodies these are the algae when water and nutrients are available algae grow and multiply rapidly by fragmentation page 136 an alga breaks up into two or more fragments these fragments or pieces grow into new individuals you can observe this in figure 12.6 this process continues and they cover a large area in a short period of time figure 12.6 fragmentation in spirogyra or an alga here we can observe that the process of fragmentation has taken place and a division of two parts has happened in alga spore formation in chapter 1 you learned that the fungi on a bread piece grow from spores which are present in the air repeat activity 1.2 observe the spores in the cotton like mesh on the bread when spores are released they keep floating in the air as they are very light they can cover long distances spores are asexual reproductive bodies each spore is covered by a hard protective coat to withstand unfavorable conditions such as high temperature and low humidity so they can survive for a long time under favorable conditions a spore germinates and develops into a new individual plants such as moss and ferns also reproduce by means of spores you can observe this in figure 12.8 figure 12.7 reproduction through spore formation in fungus here we can observe a circular ball this is the sporangium it is connected to the hypha inside the sporangium we can observe lots of spores 12.2 sexual reproduction you have learned earlier the structure of a flower you know that the flowers are the reproductive parts of a plant stamens are the male reproductive part and pistil is the female reproductive part you can observe this in figure 12.9 page 137 activity 12.4 take a mustard or china rose or petunia flower and separate its reproductive parts study the various parts of a stamen and pistil flowers which contain either only pistil or only stamens are called unisexual flowers flowers which contain both stamens and pistil are called bisexual flowers corn papaya and 
cucumber produce unisexual flowers whereas mustard rose and petunia have bisexual flowers both male and female unisexual flowers may be present in the same plant or in different plants figure 12.9 reproductive parts a stamen at the top of stamen is the anther the anther is connected by a green tube like structure which is filament b pistil at the top of pistil is the stigma it is connected to the ovary with the help of style within the ovary we can observe the ovule there are small circular dots on the ovule could you identify the anther and the filament of a stamen you can observe them in figure 12.9a another contains pollen grains which produce male gametes a pistil consists of stigma style and ovary ovary contains one or more ovules the female gamete or the egg is formed in an ovule you can observe this in figure 12.9b in sexual reproduction a male and a female gamete fuse to form zygote there's a thought bubble given here a picture of bojho is next to it bojho wants to know how the male gamete in the pollen grain reaches the female gamete present in the ovule pollination generally pollen grains have a tough protective coat which prevents them from drying up since pollen grains are light they can be carried by wind or water figure 12.10 pollination in flower a self pollination here we can observe a flower on the flower there is anther and stigma the pollens transfer from the anther to the stigma b cross pollination this flower also has anther and stigma the pollen from the first flower transfers to the stigma of this flower page 138 there's a thought bubble given here bojo wants to know why flowers are generally so colorful and fragrant is it to attract insects insects visit flowers and carry away pollen on their bodies some of the pollen lands on the stigma of a flower of the same kind the transfer of pollen from the another to the stigma of a flower is called pollination if the pollen lands on the stigma of the same flower or another flower of the same plant it is called self pollination when the pollen of a flower lands on the stigma of a flower of a different plant of the same kind it is called cross pollination you can observe both of these in figure 12.10 a and b fertilization the cell which results after fusion of the gametes is called a zygote the process of fusion of male and female gametes to form zygote is called fertilization you can observe this in figure 12.11 the zygote develops into an embryo figure 12.11 fertilization or zygote formation a here we can observe a stigma within the stigma is a small dot of black color this 
is ovum. At the top of stigma, pollen grain germinating can be observed. B. Here, we can observe the process of zygote formation. The zygote, which was a small black dot in the first image, can be now observed multiplying. The pollen tube connected to the ovum can also be observed. Figure 12.12 A. Section of an apple B. Almond 12.3 Fruits and seed formation After fertilization, the ovary grows into a fruit and other parts of the flower fall off. The fruit is the ripened ovary. The seeds develop from the ovules. The seed contains an embryo enclosed in a protective seed coat. Some fruits are fleshy and juicy, such as mango and orange. Some fruits are hard, like almonds and walnuts. You can observe these in figure 12.12 A and B. 12.4 Seed Dispersal In nature, same kind of plants grow at different places. This happens because seeds are dispersed to different places. Sometimes, after a walk through a forest or a field or a park, you may have found seeds of fruits sticking to your clothes. Page 139 Did you try to observe how these seeds were clinging to your clothes? What do you think will happen if all seeds of a plant were to fall at the same place and grow there? There would be severe competition for sunlight, water, minerals and space. As a result, the seeds would not grow into healthy plants. Plants benefit by seed dispersal. It prevents competition between the plant and its own seedlings for sunlight, water and minerals. It also enables the plants to invade new habitats for wider distribution. Seeds and fruits of plants are carried away by wind, water and animals. Winged seeds such as those of drumstick and maple which can be observed in figure 12.13 A and B. Light seeds of grasses or hairy seeds of ark or mother and hairy fruit of sunflower which can be observed in figure 12.14 A and B get blown off with the wind to far away places. Some seeds are dispersed by water. These fruits or seeds usually develop floating ability in the form of spongy or fibrous outer coat as in coconut. Some seeds are dispersed by animals, especially spiny seeds with hooks, which get attached to the bodies of animals and are carried to different places. Examples are xanthium and urina. You can observe xanthium in figure 12.15. Some seeds are dispersed when the fruit bursts with sudden jerks. The seeds are scattered far from the parent plant. This happens in the case of castor and balsam. 12.13 Seeds of A. Drumstick and B. Maple We can observe the seed in the center of drumstick and at the top of the maple. The seed is surrounded by wing in the drumstick. The wing is protruding out of the seed in the case of maple. 12.14 A. The hairy fruit of sunflower and B. The hairy seed 
ऑफ मादर और आक फिगर 12.15 जैंथियम पेज 140 कीवर्ड्स एसेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन बडिंग एम्ब्रियो फर्टिलाइजेशन फ्रैगमेंटेशन गेमीट्स हाइफा ओव्यूल पोलन ग्रेन पोलन ट्यूब पॉलिनेशन सीड डिस्पर्सल सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन स्पोर स्पोरेंजियम वेजिटेटिव प्रोपगेशन जाइगोट वॉट यू हैव लर्न वन All organisms multiply or produce their own kind. Two, in plants there are two modes of reproduction: asexual and sexual. Three, there are several methods of asexual reproduction, such as fragmentation, budding, spore formation, and vegetative propagation. Four. Sexual reproduction involves the fusion of male and female gametes. Five, in vegetative propagation, new plants are produced from different vegetative parts such as leaves, stems, and roots. Six, flower is the reproductive part of a plant. Seven, a flower may be unisexual. with either the male or the female reproductive parts eight a bisexual flower has both the male and the female reproductive parts nine the male gametes are found inside the pollen grains and female gametes are found in the ovule ten pollination is the process of transfer of pollen grains from the anther of one flower to the stigma of the same or another flower 11 pollination is of two types self pollination and cross pollination in self pollination pollen grains are transferred from the anther to the stigma of the same flower in cross pollination pollen grains are transferred from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower of the same kind 12 pollination takes place in plants with the help of wind water and insects 13 the fusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization 14 fertilized egg is called zygote Zygote develops into an embryo. Fifteen, fruit is the mature ovary, whereas ovule develops into a seed, which contains the developing embryo. Sixteen, seed dispersal is aided by wind, water, and animals. Seventeen, seed dispersal helps the plants to one. prevent overcrowding to avoid competition for sunlight water and minerals and three invade new habitats page 141 exercises 1 fill in the blanks a production of new individuals from the vegetative part of parent is called blank b A flower may have either male or female reproductive parts. Such a flower is called blank. C. The transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same or of another flower of the same kind is known as blank. D. The fusion of male and female gametes is termed as blank. E. Seed dispersal takes.
takes place by means of blank, blank and blank. 2. Describe the different methods of asexual reproduction. Give examples. 3. Explain what you understand by sexual reproduction. 4. State the main difference between asexual and sexual reproduction. 5. Sketch the reproductive parts of a flower. 6. Explain the difference between self-pollination and cross-pollination. 7. How does the process of fertilization take place in flowers? 8. Describe the various ways by which seeds are dispersed. 9. Match items in column 1 with those in column 2. Column 1 A. Bud B. Eyes C. Fragmentation D. Wings E. Spores Column 2 1. Maple 2. Spirogyra 3. Yeast 4. Bread mold 5. Potato 6. Rose 10. Take the correct answer. A. The reproductive part of a plant is the 1. Leaf 2. Stem 3. Root 4. Flower B. The process of fusion of the male and female gametes is called 1. Fertilization 2. Pollination 3. Reproduction 4. Seed formation Page 142 C. Mature ovary forms the 1. Seed 2. Stamen 3. Pistil 4. Fruit D. A spore producing organism is 1. Rose 2. Bread mold 3. Potato 4. Ginger E. Bryophyllum can reproduce by its 1. Stem 2. Leaves 3. Roots 4. Flower Extended Learning Activities and Projects 1. Make your own cactus garden by collecting pieces cut from different kinds of cacti. Grow the variety in one single flat container or in separate pots. 2. Visit a fruit market and collect as many local fruits as possible. If many fruits are not available, you can collect tomatoes and cucumbers. These are fruits, though we use them as vegetables. Make drawings of the different fruits. Split the fruits and examine the seeds within. Look for any special characteristics in the fruits and their seeds. You can visit a library also to learn about this. 3. Think of 10 different fruit-bearing plants. Remember that many vegetables are also fruits of the plants. Discuss with your teacher parents, farmers, fruit growers and agricultural experts if available nearby and find out the manner of their dispersal. Present your data in the form of a table. A sample table has been given here. In this table, there are four columns and three rows. In the first column, we have serial number. 
in the second column you have to write name of fruit bearing plant in the third column you have to write agent through which seeds are dispersed in the fourth column you have to write part of or seed which helps in dispersal 4 suppose there is one member of a particular kind of organism in a culture dish which doubles itself in one hour through asexual reproduction work out the number of members of that kind of organism which will be present in the culture dish after 10 hours such a colony of individuals arising from one parent is called a clone the chapter 12 of total 18 chapters of the book ends here narrator akash ahuja producer vandana arimardan presented by c i e t n c e r t new delhi india